evaluate the given expressions. The first expression is cosine of inverse sine of square root three divided by two. We begin by simplifying the inner expression of inverse sine of square root three divided by two, which is equal to the angle in the closed interval from a negative pi over two to positive pi over two that has a sine function value of square root three divided by two. Because the sine function value is positive, we should be able to recognize that the angle is going to be in quadrant one. On the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So now we look for the point on the unit circle in the first quadrant where the y coordinate equals square root three divided by two, which is this point here. Which means the terminal side of the angle is this ray. The initial side is along the positive x-axis and therefore the angle in the closed interval from a negative pi over two to positive pi over two that has a sine function value of square root three divided by two is 60 degrees or in radians, pi over three radians or one third pi radians. And therefore the expression simplifies to cosine of one third pi radians or pi over three radians. To evaluate cosine one third pi radians, we already have the angle sketched in standard position. And since x equals cosine theta, cosine one third pi radians is equal to one half. Next we have sine of inverse cosine of one half. Inverse cosine of one half is equal to the angle in the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of positive one half. Again, because the cosine function value is positive, the angle will be in the first quadrant. So now we look for the point on the unit circle in the first quadrant where the x coordinate is equal to one half, which is the same point we used in the previous example here. Again, because x is equal to one half, the cosine function value is one half. And therefore this is the terminal side, this is the initial side, and the angle in the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of one half is 60 degrees or in radians pi over three or one third pi radians. And therefore the expression simplifies to sine of one third pi radians. To evaluate sine of one third pi radians, we already have the angle sketched in standard position. And since y equals sine theta, sine one third pi radians is equal to square root three divided by two. Next we have tangent of inverse cosine of square root two divided by two. Inverse cosine of square root two divided by two is equal to the angle in the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of square root two divided by two. Once again, because the cosine function value is positive, the angle will be in quadrant one. We now look for the point on the unit circle in quadrant one where the x coordinate equals square root two divided by two, which is this point here. And therefore this is the terminal side, this is the initial side, and the angle is 45 degrees or radians, pi over four radians or one fourth pi radians. This is equal to tangent of pi over four or tangent one fourth pi radians. On the unit circle, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. And for the angle of one fourth pi radians, notice how the x and y coordinates are equal, and therefore y divided by x is equal to positive one. For the last example, we have sine of inverse tangent of square root three divided by three. Inverse tangent of square root three divided by three is equal to the angle in the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two that has a tangent function value of square root three divided by three. To determine the point on the unit circle where y divided by x is equal to square root three divided by three, we will want to rationalize the numerator for this trig function value. Let's begin by doing that. We have square root three divided by three. Now we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of three. This is equal to three divided by three square root three. Three divided by three simplifies to one. This is equal to one divided by square root three. It will be easier to find the point on the unit circle where y divided by x is equal to one divided by square root three rather than square root three divided by three. Again, because the tangent function value is positive, the point will be in the first quadrant. When dividing fractions with the same denominator, we can find the quotient of the two fractions by dividing the numerators. So if we focus on the quotient of the numerators, it'll make it easier to find y divided by x. Notice at this point here, if we focus on the numerators, because both denominators are two, 
y divided by x is one divided by square root three, and therefore this is the terminal side of the angle. This is the initial side, and the angle is 30 degrees, or in radians, pi over six radians, or one sixth pi radians. The expression simplifies to the sine of one sixth pi radians. And we already have the angle sketched in standard position. And since y equals sine theta, sine one sixth pi radians, or pi over six radians, is equal to the y coordinate of one half. I hope you found this helpful.